Hi everyone. If you're following a little bit politics, if you want to know it, the tweets from Trump, then you can maybe follow up that he's a little bit yeah unhappy with the with the work of the Federal Reserve, the Fed. And some people take this as a hint that he wants to get rid of it. And there are like some sources that say, okay, he wants to get rid of the Fed and that he also wants to introduce back to the gold standard. So a very popular, popular demand by libertarians and especially Ron Paul um, and the Fed definitely has already high support in those circles. And I would definitely welcome it. Would bring a lot of value back into the dollar it definitely would stir up the market because it would be very turbulent but you would get rid of the fiat system that is just printing money where they were saying okay we print money and then through the uh, through the trickle down economics it will just oh you put money on top and then oh it will just separate on the people and down but I think it was a gentillion effect, correct me in the comments if I'm wrong, that showed that, okay, the, the actual value of printing your money, if you want to name it, like the benefit, the benefit just stays on the top. Uh, just, I think the gentillion was this pyramid out of champagne glasses, and then you fill in champagne from the top and it flows down into all the glasses and then after some time you have all the glasses more or less filled and then you can take them and drink them it's just like like a nice showpiece right but just like this effect it has that oh the benefit just has the top they can buy new stuff with it they have the ability to buy to the prices that are not um, adjusted to the influx of your money into the system. So before the inflation hits the whole economy, they get fresh money, can buy stuff. And then once the money comes down more or less to, to the lower ranks, to the normal people, the inflation already changed the market the money is less worth and they are looking <laughs> are looking at empty hands again so they don't have something from that end they just have the effect of basically a tax of other means devaluation of the currency and yeah just another way how how the state is stealing from the people or the fed which is not a state it's a, in its own company um so what would it mean like if Trump really says, hey, we get rid of the Fed, we don't print our money anymore, just out of nothing, we connect it to the gold standard and we say, okay, for one dollar you can get X amount of gold. <coughs> um, that you can probably separate into four groups. So people that use dollar, that are in a, in a country with a with dollars as the main currency or with a currency that is directly connected to the dollar and those who don't have it and then the people that have cryptocurrency already that have bitcoin and people that don't have bitcoin or currencies crypto as an alternative so then you can look at the the factor k they look at the possibility of what to do with their currency and if they want to get basically from the low value to the high value more like okay not from the high value but from the value decrease from the descending currency to the ascending currency to the jump over to the path where they are more fortunate in the future and that could develop that, for example, that if you have people that are in a country where you have a crypto system, 
and they have neither crypto nor dollar then it would be easier for them to jump on crypto if they expect that cryptocurrency goes up they want to get probably away from their from their fiat money system they want to get either to dollar or to cryptocurrency so they just basically they don't want to get there but they want to get away from the fiat because um, their currency in relation to the dollar will drastically decrease because it's already decreasing and if the dollar is not increasing anymore and instead maybe even increasing in value then you will have a separation between them and that will just basically just um, accumulate so they want to go away from the fiat currency then they have the chance uh, the, the choice between going into cryptocurrencies maybe they are we just say okay it's a little bit less popular maybe than the dollar but um, there could be the question okay what would be easier for them like where's the incentive that they actually can access the value of it if they get dollar then okay what do they do with the dollar do they have like a bank account where they can change the currency into dollar or do they get cash and when they do get it can they actually use it so in most countries i don't know if you can just pay in the supermarket with dollar but in many supermarkets like in south america and asia it's possible to buy with, pay with crypto they are like possibilities in Colombia for example there are super many stores where you can already pay with dash a good friend that is already yeah I think he started last year and it's like hundreds of of small stores that accept dash thanks to him and his friends so he took like a big incentive so it would be very easy to just buy more of dash save your value into in this currency that will just keep increasing in value and get out of the <laughs> dropping fiat ship, ship then you have countries where an infrastructure for crypto is not that available because it's very easy already to pay with fiat currencies that would be for example in europe where you can pay with, pay with credit card um I'm not really sure how connected the euro is to the dollar yeah, that would be over the, the bank. So it, I don't think that's actually, yeah. So just for example, if they can really pay very well with crypto because you can use credit cards and we have like money cards and a lot uh, getting cash from the cash machines doesn't cost something additional. That's also here in South America, for example, in Chile. You have to pay like 10 bucks to get cash from the cash machine and then it's like also limited to cashing out what like 300 dollar and then you have to pay 10 dollar so if you actually need some money then you're standing there and getting out money and money and money and you pay like 50 dollars in fees or something so you would say that mm, maybe having cash here is not so good i rather ju just buy some crypto and then someone just uses the money to buy himself something other nice stuff but in Europe where you can just dip, um, go to the cash machine and get your cash for free or probably in China probably too you have so many cash machines and there's easy to get cash so uh, they would they would look at that and then say okay like i can pay very much i don't really can pay so good with crypto here because infrastructure is not available so i i would just save all that all that money that i don't really want to spend right now that i want to want to put back for something back for something bigger for my for my grandchildren or I am saving for a car or for a house or for for a trip that money that I don't spend that I will put in in dollar so I will put in dollar and either get cash or have like a bank account with dollar on it 
and save it in that and then when I need it I change it back and then buy myself a nice car or something and all the fiat that I have I basically spend it really quick and get rid of it so that I can get the value out of it while it's high and get away from it before it gets low again. So they will probably buy more dollar. So then it's not now. Uh, you have to now look, okay, people go from fiat currency into crypto and into dollar. And you have to see like, okay, um, is the value that goes into dollar higher or into crypto higher? Dollar will go up itself, but then you have people, okay, does it make sense to jump on the dollar while it's already going up? And then they have to see, is it, does it make sense, like jump into it while it's already high or is it better to jump on crypto before it gets high? Maybe they are because they could expect some kind of uh, latency to the crypto to follow the dollar price. That's definitely depending on how easy it is to get either dollar or crypto and how useful it is for them to get either of them so yeah if you have basically neither of them then you have this decision if you have crypto and no dollar that would probably be useful for them for you to see okay if the dollar increases faster than crypto then I think you won't really buy more crypto. You would diversify more and put your fiat that you have or other currencies into the dollar. But if you have only dollar and crypto and no fiat currency, then you would probably keep your crypto and be happy that you get paid in a in a gold in a gold backed currency. That will be interesting to find out. And if you have dollar that goes up but no crypto, you'll probably feel a little bit more safe there. That could be interesting. Yeah, somehow I have a feeling that both currencies would go up. Maybe at the beginning people would go more. I don't how do you go into more to dollar? Yeah, that would be something that has to show. If that actually happens and that will take some time anyway because it's a government that is changing the currency and yeah they are not really that efficient um, they will need some time to do the changes and if they really do it from one day on the other then it will be a big ripple that goes through the markets so that will, might also be an effect <laughs> It has to be in place if you have a fast change in the economy that means that you have high insecurity and cryptocurrencies in general have from the beginning always been a good storage of value in an unsecure market so people they want to save their money they get a wallet a brain wallet or an or a paper wallet or other other means of a, of a safe wallet where it's out of third parties so or second parties where just they have access so it's a very very safe way to to store your money it can be a very safe way to store money if you save it on on an online exchange then yeah you're not better off than putting some cash in your pocket and yeah walking around with it in a bad neighborhood so yeah that being said if it's really a fast change people would probably first go into um yeah majority will first go into crypto to save their money from the volatility and then they will go back more to gold again once the systems are all in place and they who have acclimated, acclimated to this new economy. So yeah, let's see how, how it actually turns out. Maybe we don't get a gold standard at all and people still will continue to lose money into the future. Then it will just be a benefit 
and then it will just benefit cryptocurrencies which increase in value and countries will just keep printing money devalue themselves and then eventually run out of people's money and have to do some kind of reset get rid of their their debts yeah i hope you can prepare yourself and make some money and then use the money to help other people bye